up guys um, in this video I'm gonna quickly go through the process of making realistic scales that you can do on your own base so pretty much all you need here is the stencil that you can see me using here uh, a good idea is to cut it out from some plastic that you can just wipe clean when you're done with your work. So, see what I'm doing here. I'm painting the scales in a row and just moving my stencil, overlapping the last row of scales that I just did. Pretty simple stuff. And I'm pretty sure that you, can, you don't really need a uh, high end air, airbrush to do this stuff. Of course, it doesn't actually, you know do any harm having a nice air push but you really don't need it here. Okay and I think this is gonna be the last last row I'm gonna do here. I'm pretty sure you, you guys get the idea already. There we go. So this is what we want, a nice scale pattern. Now that we have our scales done, it's time to blend in our scales and not to make them jump out too much. So while we're looking for that realistic look here. A uh, little bit about paints. The kind of paint that I use here is transparent kind. Uh, that's pretty much perfect for this kind of stuff. So oh, yeah, you, you guys get the idea. Oh, this is the kind of end result that you might expect with this 3D scale technique that, that I just showed you guys. Not bad, huh? So yeah, as always, subscribe and uh, leave comments and like my videos, of course.